Dreamers Radio number one streaming radio in Indonesia. Hi, Dreamers. So I'm Gita, and right now we're with Pami, special from Thailand. Hi, Pami. Sadiha. Sadiha. Okay, it's really nice to meet you. Um, how are you, Pami? I'm great. Just um have a little bit lack of sleep, but I'm great. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you need to sleep. Sleep is important, okay? <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, before we start this interview, I want to ask you a few questions. So before that, can you say hi to our listener called Dreamers? And can you say hi to, to your Indonesian fans? Okay. Hi, Dreamers Radio. Hi, all Dreamers fans. And hello, Indonesian fans. Uh, I'm Pali, and it's really nice to see you guys. And let's see what we're going to talk about today. Okay, we're going to talk about your newest single. Okay, so by the way, before that, uh, I want to say congratulations on your new single, Covent Garden. Woo! Thank you so much. How do you feel, <laughs> How do you feel, Pami, after release this song? It's kind of like a really surreal feeling because this song has been like in my in my drought for like a year already. <laughs> And oh. then I was working with this song like last year. And I was writing it, and then now I saw it just like came to life, and it's was really ma- like a magic to me. Ooh! So you write it by yourself? Yes, I I wrote <laughs> Covent Garden like based on true story. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, after you go to London, and then you got okay, Covent Garden. Yes. <laughs> 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 Maybe like my friends would, would like wonder why uh Covent Garden does impact me a lot like that, <laughs> but it really does impact. Okay, okay. Uh, before we going into deep again, more deep about your single, I want to ask you about what is your activity nowadays before uh beside promoting your uh new single. Um, my activity is like something about crochet. Oh, you like crochet? <laughs> crochet stuff. Yes, I crochet stuff. And, oh my and God. yeah, okay. like drawing, something like that. That's not about you're, like music part. You're a super artistic person. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have lots of hobby, I would say that. I also made like necklace and bracelets. Oh my yeah. God. And there's yeah. something about like bracelet. Oh, you like, can sell it. You can be a businesswoman. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a shop. Yeah, right, right. Pami <laughs> shop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Pami. Um, can you tell us more about your song Covent Garden? What did this song mean to you, and what's the meaning of these songs? So Covent Garden is. First of all, it's a place in London, mm-hmm. and uh, the the thing about COVID Garden is it's not exactly about the place, but it's just the place that I met someone special that I have oh. to write this about it. So we met at COVID Garden, and I just think like, oh, if I could just go back in COVID Garden, like it would be so great. Like, so I wrote something called like, start with take me back when we met at Covent Garden. That's like the first sentence that I wrote. Mm. And then uh, it's just like a really perfect like first day. And it's just somehow like you you can't just forget about it. And um, it's remind me like some things that I, I don't really believe that it happens to me. So I have to write the songs about it, songs about Covent Garden that it's just gonna help me keep realizing that that things was actually happen, and yeah, there it is, COVID Garden. Wow, this is super great, and I think there's a lot of people out there that has the same, uh, feeling or experience with your experience. So I think a lot of people will gonna, um, relate with these songs. Okay, and I saw uh on Spotify, Pami, uh, there's like two um account on Spotify that called. Pam and Pami. So is it yours too? It's actually me too. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's like a little bit different, I think, on your account Spotify because Pam 
because in the account pam it's all the song is on thailand languages but it's different with pammy pammy like your songs in pammy is like full in english is that your rebranding or something yeah i would say i'm rebranding myself mm. because like pam uh lots of pam songs no every pam song is like uh in thai right it was mm. when i was like working as a you know thai singer before and then yeah. because i'm shifting to writing english songs and singing english songs and i just hope that it could give something like a new me like pam oh. and like this makes people see that okay this part is pam this part is pam it's not okay, the same okay 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 i, I can see the difference i just ban pam <laughs> i would say that <laughs> I just found her right between your songs. Okay. Okay. So, um, do you have a name for your friends, Pam? For my friends? Yes. For your fans. Oh, for my fans. Oh, for my fans. I used to have a name for my fans. It's called like Goatfish, which is pretty pretty cute because my yeah. first photo was like I, I took a photo with a goldfish. Oh. And they just said that. Oh, I want to be taken taken care of by by Pam. I want to be goldfish, and then they oh. just, they called it goldfish, which is pretty cute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so back to your single after releasing your uh, Covent Garden. Is there any comments that you remember from your fans? There is a lot. There's a lot. I would screenshot all of the comments that makes my heart like flatter, like because. <laughs> It means a lot to me, and then there is some comments that said like, "You bless my ear," or something like oh. that, and I just I think it's really cute. And some of the comment was really mean, like meaningful. That I read it, I read it, and I I cried a little because yeah. they said that just like I'm I'm thank I wanted to thank you for coming back and writing songs again yeah. like i wanted to thank you that you make music again and i just like oh that's really like that's meant a lot to me okay for me uh, i want to ask you a question like um your newest album and single as for me your new rebranding is all in english but uh, you have a few songs in thailand too right like in thailand languages do you have any plan to produce more songs in thailand languages or Maybe in the future you want to like uh, focusing on um, your music globally, which means like you're gonna release all your musics in English in the future. Um. So here's the things. Um, the reason that I really like, like and really into like writing English songs is because I think I'm I'm good at writing in English more than writing in oh. Thai. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> And then it's funny, right? Since I'm Thai, but Thai language was pretty hard to write to become a good song. And I I wouldn't say that writing English is easy. It's also hard too. But I I just love the way that the language sounds and the poets and everything in English. Okay. And I just hope that I could just focus. I could focus on this path like as long mm -hmm. as I could. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, um, have you ever been to Indonesia before, Pami? Yes, I've been to Bali before. Oh my god. The iconic one. It's always Bali. <laughs> Maybe have but, you ever it's, it's really, really long time ago. Like oh. 15 years ago. Huh? Yeah. 15 years ago? I I remember when I was really little. Oh, really you should to come again to Indonesia. Yes, I hope so. I really want to go to Indonesia. Yeah. Lots of my you... friends like ask me like, why don't you go to like Indonesia with me? Something like that. You should to go to Indonesia and you should come to Dreamers Radio, okay? Okay, that would be great. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Don't come> <laughs> okay. Uh, did you have like any plan to come to Indonesia in a short time? Um, when I have vacation, I'll definitely visit. Oh, visit okay. Indonesia. Okay, and I if, wish. If, if I could go to Indonesia for a like, music show or something, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Oh, yeah. You should come to Dreamers Radio and you should sing here 
life. Okay. I will be there. Okay. I will be there. <laughs> okay, I'll wait here. Okay, if you have changed, uh, which country that you want to visit the most? Mm, which country? Mm -hmm. What if I said, like, because you, you come up with Indonesia now, I wanted to go to Indonesia. Because because you said you're welcoming, right? Now I wanted yeah, to of go. Course. Of course, we'll <laughs> welcome you. I'll buy you some Indonesian food if you come here. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Have you ever tried Indonesian food? Oh, oh, sorry. I tried. I I tried before. I tried the nasi goreng. Goreng. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nasi goreng. Yeah, I love that dish. I I ate a lot. I remember, oh. but but I didn't try it in like Indonesia. Ah, I the the best one. You should. Uh, you like. Uh, you like spicy. I love spicy. Of course, Thailand people in Indonesia are saints, right? They love spicy. I, 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 Southern Thai. Sorry? Southern, like the south of Thailand and the south oh, yeah? of Thailand eat lots. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you should try sambal. Sambal, it's from a chili and then sambal. blend it. Yeah, sambal. Like sauce, every Indonesian. Right? Like sauce? Yeah, right, sauce. Yeah, sauce. Yeah, it's like that. And you said to try sambal with uh fried chicken, it's super delicious. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to ask you this is the last question, Pami. What kind of musician that you want to know as? What kind of musician that I wanted to be known as? Yes. I just want it to be known that um, I'm just some girls that write songs with love and heart. Just that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, most of your song is from your personal experience, right? Yes, most of it. Ooh, okay. Most of it, or maybe all of it. Oh, okay. That was really <laughs> nice. Wow, amazing. Yeah, my life really exciting or else I wouldn't have anything to write about. Ah, okay, maybe maybe uh in another your single or another uh album you're going to like write another thing about your life, maybe a more more deep about your life and about friendship or other. Yes, I'll try, but but some people said that I I shouldn't do that a lot because it might might yeah. affect my feelings or something but oh, yeah all right but i just want to keep digging in it like deeper deeper and just like put it in music and stuff because for me writing things based on what i really feel does helps me like weight my songs like more important to me mm -hmm. <laughs> i would feel like more personal yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, Pami, is there any, like, a closing statement to your fans or dreamers that write, uh, that listen our um radio today? Hi, Dreamers fans and Indonesian fans. Thank you for listening to Dreamers Radio. And thank you for listening to me talking. I hope you guys <laughs> have a great and keep watching. And listen to Dreamers Radio. That's the ending. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy, for coming uh, today on online meeting Zoom. Uh, I hope we can meet in person in Indonesia, all right? Okay, yes. Okay, Let's okay. Do that. The, the fried chicken and the sambal. Okay, I will buy it for you. It's special for Pami, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pami. Thank you so much. I hope you have a success. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.